Hey, I'm back with another video about modal harmony. So, today, let's talk about the Mixolydian mode. So, the Mixolydian mode is the fifth mode of the major scale. And actually, it has a lot in common with the major scale or the Ionian mode. It's very happy and it's a little bit different because it's, I think, a little bit more cool or relaxed or, I don't know, even country or down-home sounding than the normal Ionian scale. But I think that's because it has all the same notes as the Ionian scale. The only thing that's different is it has a flat 7 instead of a major 7. So let's go through it in the key of C. So first you have here the root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and here flat 7th. So you can hear the difference between that and the major scale. I think that's what kind of gives it the different feeling and you know the kind of down home quality they have with this. One major chord to that was a pun, I didn't mean to do. One important chord for this is the dominant seventh chord. So I'm sure all of you know this and have heard this before, so just like this. Or this. This completely defines the modality of the Mixolydian mode. So there's another chord that actually does it also. Um, I think in another video I showed you the quartal voicings, the fourth voicings. And so if you do the same thing like this. So that voicing also completely uh, shows the modality of the Mixolydian. But first let's talk about some songs that use the Mixolydian mode. So some common songs that use it are Sweet Home Alabama, that kind of gives it that country feel, uh, by Leonard Skinner, I believe. Also, Steppenwolf's Magic Carpet Ride, Summer Song by Joe Satriani, On Broadway by George Benson. I don't know if George Benson wrote that, but he's famous for singing that. And if you're looking for something a little bit more modern, Royals by Lord uses this, I believe. Now let's get into some chord progressions. So first I should talk about the characteristic notes. So the characteristic notes in the Mixolydian scale or mode are the natural third and the flat seventh. So if we're in the modality of C, the third is E, the flat seventh is B flat. So here you have the tritone. So it sounds a little bit harsh, but this helps define the modality. Uh, let's talk about some common chord progressions. A uh, very common one is simple. It's just C and then B flat. So this is just your one and flat seven. Very easy. So. Uh, lots of songs use this and it's very simple so if you're trying to come up with a song you want to use a Mixolydian mode you can use this and uh, you know if you spice it up with the right rhythm it can sound really good I believe George Benson's On Broadway uses this let me see if I remember it So it's something like that. I'm not sure if I remember it exactly correctly, but if you don't know, check that out. Um, it's a very popular song, so you can use that. Another one that's very common is using C, and instead of moving down to B flat, move the chord down to B flat, but keep the bass on C. So it would be something like this. So using that C in the bass is very useful. You notice for other modal progressions also you can use this. So many times if you start switching around to too many chords, you'll lose the modality. But if you keep the root of the modality in the bass, you can switch those chords around and you won't lose it. So that's, I guess, a, a tip I could give you if you want to make modal chord progressions. The next one that's really common is C, B flat, and then F. So that's your one, flat seven, then four. 
So they're all major chords. But many songs use this, so let me think. Um, Magic Carpet Ride uses this. I believe Sweet Home Alabama uses this. Let me see if I remember how to play that. I don't think I played that correctly, but that's okay. That gives you an idea. You can check that out someplace else on YouTube if you really want to know how to play that. But those are some common modal chord progressions uh, that you'll oftentimes hear. And like I said, it kind of gives it a country rock so sound, so I think that's a cool one and it'll be useful to you. The next one is just a C sus voicing, C7 sus, and then to C7. So this is cool because you just have C7 sus, and then C7. And then you can just move between them, like. You can come up with whatever rhythm you want, but that's kind of a, a you know a nice thing to do. It sounds interesting. Another one that's very similar is instead of using the seventh version, just use the normal C sus and then to C. But the problem with this is it doesn't have a B flat, so you probably have to add another chord in there. So what I'll do is I'll play it a few times, then I'll add uh, the B major, B flat major, in there to give it the modality. <laughs> That's another one you can use. I'll give you one more. This one uses those kind of slash voicings where you have a, a major triad on top and then you have a bass note. We use C in the bass and then an F major. And then we move to C in the bass with B flat major. C in the C in the bass and then B flat major. So something like this. I don't know why, all of these reminded me of the 1970s. I don't know if there was something where people in the 1970s really liked the Mixolydian mode or, or what, but that's what it reminds me of. So if you're looking to make a 70s song, you might check this mode out. Let's move on to some of the things I showed before in my Alan Holdsworth video. If you've gone through this whole series, you know what's coming. If you haven't, check out my Alan Holdsworth Chords Part 2, and it'll show you how to make these voicings. But basically, if you want a different sound that's not quite so happy uh, and it sounds a little bit more like modern jazz or fusion, you can use some of these. So, let's see, I'll do this in the key of E. I'll change from C to E because I have an E on my guitar. Uh, so, here, move up, up another one. So those are all the voicings. It's the same as before. I'm just starting on a different note. So, and I only did the one two five instead of the one four five. But like I said, check out the other video. It'll show you everything I'm talking about here. So if I want to kind of just mess around with that, I have something like this. So that kind of gives you an idea of some different things you can do. Uh, the Mixolydian mode is really interesting and useful and it's one of the few modes that you can kind of use all the time. There's some other modes that uh, you may not want to use all the time, but this one it's really easy to make songs with it or to even make like a bridge or some chorus or just a part of a song. Uh, one thing to watch out is be careful, I, showed, I told you at the beginning that this voicing, the just C7 or these seventh chords, they really want to resolve back to F. So if I play this, you want to hear that F. So the seventh chords want to re resolve. And so there are cases like in the blues where, ah, it doesn't resolve and you don't get that. But oftentimes, if you use this chord too much, 
it can sound a little bit strange and it has that pull and it kind of switches from the Mixolydian to the Ionin. That's it for Modal Harmony today and the Mixolydian mode. I have two more modes to do, so I'll try to finish those hopefully by the end of this year. And then I'll try to come out with one more on Modal Harmony about writing songs and putting everything together. And then after that, I'll be on to some new topics. I might do a new topic before then, but if you have anything you want to request, uh, any type of lessons or something, leave them below. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below also. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please remember to thumbs it up, check out some of my other videos below, and don't forget, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.